so TemTem is back and uh, it's a full version now and most are collecting fans of Xbox can rejoice uh, while TemTem has arrived. Developed by Crema as published by Modest Games, TemTem is an always online creature collecting adventure game. Much in the vein of Pokemon, it is leather content Yuka, Watch, Digimon, the lighter Crema title is all about controlling your characters the newly created TemTem Tamer as he had sets of all an adventure across the vast islands that make up the Graham, call it the Airborne Archipelago and to do good Tamer does tame the Tam Tam. This game has been in development for quite some time now and has been running through the Steam Early Access program of PC for a little for two years now. The September release marks the release of full version, along with the console's debut on Xbox, making it the bed right next to the game like Oblets and Nexomon. Yes, the console hasn't been without its own Pokemon, but I think the game represents a much stronger offering for the platform sense, to the content available and the social connection that weaves between said content. So let's talk about Temtem. Temtem is based on its combat system. It would be a little presumptuous of me to assume that the reader knows how the Pokemon game is played, but it allows me to get the interesting parts of the game. Its stamina system, movement moves and movement behavior. Temtem's turn-based gameplay is based on the range of moves available to your cute little monster, against the limited amount of stamina available to him at the start of the battle. Depending on the move used, the bar depletes quickly and the oversun stamina causes your creature to overexert itself and damage itself, leaving it vulnerable. Some moves are also unvaluable when the monster is caught into a battle, ensuring that high damage moves are not immediately usable and leave a more fair fight. Apart from timing and fighting, players can also breed temtems, but that has never been my fault. In case you're wondering, there are plenty of guides on how to get the perfect copy. I was more than satisfied just timing and pumping what I had. Uh, speaking of leveling up, I have some complaints about the way experience is distributed among fallen creatures, but I will put it down as one of the rules of the game, even if it's a bit disappointed. Temtem is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game MMO, that requires a persistent internet connection and an active Xbox Live Gold or X Pass Game Pass Ultimate subscription to play. And in the case of this game, the online aspect crucial to the title, as without it, I would have little interest in continuing. Yes, the gameplay is solid, but being able to see other players and interact with them is much more a fluid way is such a pleasure. Plenty of players globally chat to offer help of just have fun and forced crossplay means that the player pool will always be maxed out. The service was so also stable and the game removed it from crashes much better than I expect. Even when I the player was combat or just resumed after a quick resume. Of course, as an MMO, you can get creative. The in-game character creator is solid and there are many features for you to play around with. I think you can really feel fi right at here, home, here, even at the are hundreds of sliders available. There are also load rings available after you taking the respective side quest. And for battle seekers, completed dodges can take on harder challenges weekly and obviously in rewards. For me, Temtem's solid foundation is what made me come back. During the main campaign of the game, I didn't care much for the characters, let alone the dialogue. Uh, I don't like the way the map is set up and how the objectives are placed on it. The visuals are too clean for my liking and the Temtem design literally lacks texture, which leaves me unsatisfied. To be fair, monster designs are hard to bring to life and some of my favorite games from other games are mostly machines. But without the gameplay try to be extremely through social aspects, I don't think I will care so much about this game as I do now. Temtem has a lot of content to browse and it's a great MMO. Even if it's the not most charming monster collecting game, it's definitely one of the best I've ever seen from a western developer.